Tommy, how's how's the squad looking after Easter Road? Uh, Chris Stokes took a pretty bad one, the hamstring, um, when he pulled up, so he's had a scan and I, I believe we're probably looking at between six and eight weeks. Um, so that's disappointing. Um, Roman Burrell has gone back to Middlesbrough. Um, we've had him scanned, but Middlesbrough want to, you know, have a look at that, and I think they feel that um, they might be able to get away without him having an operation. Um, so that's disappointing as well. So two definite long-term uh, injuries. On the other side is that um, Fraser Murray's fully fit. Uh, he's got over the bone bruising he had, and um, you know he'll be added to the squad because obviously he missed out last week. As you say, undoubtedly a blow, um, especially in terms of, of losing your captain for that length of time. Um, would that change at all? Then the replacements would be obviously have in the building, but would it change the way that we play at all, or do the players who are coming in? Do they have well, I mean, it, it, Ewan Murray's played uh, predominantly on the left for. Uh, to Fernand, so that that that's not a problem. Um, Stokesy, you know, probably, uh, and, and not taking the other way from you, and is probably, you know, uh, his distribution is probably better on that left side. Um, but no, um, you know, when I sat down in the summer, the main thing that we tried to do was build a squad. Can't you can't do anything or be successful or have any measure of success unless you have um, you know a good squad. And that's what we've done. You know, we've got options. We've got um, Dylan McGowan. We've got uh, young Jack Sanders, who hasn't really put a foot wrong since he's come in the building. Uh, Charlie McArthur at 16. I've no qualms of need me to play him because he's been outstanding and, and trains every day with the first team. We've got Naismith can go in and play in there. So I've, I've got loads of options in terms of that, you know, uh, those positions. And also all our positions that um, because we've tried to build a squad, and um, you know by doing that, hopefully you don't lesser you don't lessen the quality that you've got or your ability to win games. I suppose while he's injured as captain, you'll still have a big part to play in terms of the day to day around the, the place and, and helping those players as he as he would do. As yeah, I mean he he he's been about. Um, he will be about. Um, so he'll continue, um, you know, contributing, but not contributing on the pitch. The news, obviously, that you mentioned about Ramon as well. You, you said after Easter Road that might change your plans in terms of maybe looking for mm -hmm. two at the top end of the pitch. Is, is there any kind of update of, of where we are with that? Search? We're, we're we're close to one, um, but it's just um, sometimes you get ninety eight percent of the work done and. That last two percent is the hardest thing to get to get done, but uh, you know there's nobody going to be in by tomorrow. Um, there'll definitely be somebody in, you know, before the end of the window. And I suppose with Hamilton having a, a new manager, well, it might not have an immediate effect tomorrow. It it might give them even a psychological boost to know that whoever is going to Stuart Taylor is going to be yeah. in charge. Yeah, yeah, I them. think he's. I don't know. I think. Reports say he's going to be in the stand, and um, you know that's um, sometimes can uh, a new manager coming in can give the players a, a real lift. Not sure if he'll change anything or how they've been playing. We we just prepare on the evidence that we've seen how they've played. If that changes tomorrow, it's different personnel or different system. Um, we'll deal with that.